friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I'm here to share with you uh, the like fabric, linen, and trim video, uh, trims that I've gotten together in little bundles from my Etsy shop. Let's see, I'm not sure how to, I think you can see everything here. So I have six bundles of things that I've put together and I'm going to flip through this one and maybe another one just to show you that I didn't have six of each thing, you know what I mean? So what I did have six of, I divided into six different bundles, but what I didn't have six of, I put something in there, like different things. So let me just flip so that's a more, you know, self-explanatory. But uh, thank you for joining me, and uh, I hope you're all having a good day and hope you have a good week. But uh, first of all, on top here, I have picked up these little samples, and uh, these are all from thrift stores. You know, you know, I like to go to thrift stores and go thrifting, and I like to share my goodies in my shop too. So, um, this I had picked up. There were some colorful ones and more, some more like neutral type one colors. They're little samples, and someone told me in the video what they were. And so maybe you recognize them too. They have a little eyelet up here, which I think is pretty cool for a tag or a fabric flip in a journal or a pocket or whatever you want to use these for, but cute little. And it's kind of, this one's thicker. Some of them are thinner. So it just depends on what I have as was to what I put, you know, in the different bundles, but that's the first piece. And then if you saw the other day where I showed these little stitchery pieces that I found, that uh, looks like maybe someone was, was making a quilt or some, some you know, stitched piece of, uh, you know, type of uh, linen. There were different pieces, and actually I found more. I found a few more. So I did put, you know, one in each of these bundles, and this is, this is in this bundle. You can see I've tried to put a really pretty one in each bundle, but I think they're really precious, and oh, I think they're really old. I mean, look at the back. This looks like old fabric, and like I showed you in my thrifty video, like even this is right here. See how it's kind of, uh, you know, when fabric gets old, it starts, you know, really old fabric. And this is not a really super thick fabric or anything, but it's not, you know, it's kind of normal fabric. But anyway, see how it's coming apart right there? Anyway, just to show you how old this might be, I don't know. I have no way of knowing but I think it's really a cool piece of, you know, stitchery and it's old and I wanted to include one in for in each pack. And this is another couple of pieces here that I had that had this kind of like embroidery. It's a sheer, that sheer kind of fabric. It was, um, I had used some of it in my journals and so it was a big kind of like a dress or scarf type thing. And so here's a piece, two pieces of that in this bundle. And then this is lace that I, or a trim that I cut off of. It was a very large doily. And so like all of these pieces won't be perfect also. You know what I mean? Like that one that I just showed you was cut. This one's cut from a doily. So some of the doilies and linens that I get are damaged. I thought, well, those would be perfect to cut up and put into little bundles because I can't use them all. My my linen drawer where I keep my linen linens, I have them in a desk drawer and it's full. So I thought that's what kind of motivate, motivate, motivated me to go ahead and make some bundles to share because I can't keep them all. So this was a damage, a lar very large doily like that would fit on a, on a table or something. You know, the centerpiece for a dining room table or something or over a table and it would, it would hang over the ta a little table or something. Uh, like a nightstand or a end table, but I'm just trying to tell you how large it was. And it had a stain, a couple of stains and a hole. So if you get something with a couple of stains and a hole, that's why, <laughs> because I'm cutting them from damaged pieces that I feel like, you know, I like to use. And especially if you have a girl, you're doing grungy, you know, that is perfect. And you know, you can coffee dye these or whatever. You can grunge them up some more, but <laughs> just to tell you, that's why I cut them up because they weren't perfect. You know what I mean? So here is a piece from that large doily. And I thought it was a really beautiful piece. It's like it was the outside trim that went around the outside. So I cut a piece of that for in here. 
Uh, let's see what this is. <laughs> oh, this was another uh, big kind of linen with stitchery or embroidery on it. And you can see here. And then it has this piece here that's cro like crochet. So, uh, yeah, it was a big piece. And I cut it up because it had some damage on it. And so there's a piece of that in here. And so you can cut this up too. You can cut out these little pieces and use them to decorate a pocket or a page. And then you can use this fabric for something. You know, this is like kind of like muslin. And you can use muslin <clears throat> for so, excuse me, for so many things in your crafting. And if you're a crafter, you know. But if you need ideas on how to use muslin, <laughs> just look at the YouTube. I mean, you can rubber stamp on it. You can just make pockets and you can just do so make little tabs and strings for your tag, you know, tags. You can make little tabs for the top or little strings or, you know, use it for making, um, you know, if you can get a long, long enough pieces, you can use it for making uh, tassels and things. Just so many things. And here's another old. Now this one, let's see, I did cut this one in half. So this was a long dresser scarf. It had some kind of damage on it. Uh, maybe like here, see, this is. This is where the, the outside trim was, and it's coming. It wasn't perfect. See how it's part, partly missing here? I didn't cut that off or anything. That's how I got it. So that's what I'm talking about when I say it was damaged, and so I figured it was a good piece to cut up, and it has beautiful embroidery right here. It's the same color as the fabric here, but isn't that pretty? And it's got a few of those, quite a few of those here little bouquets and little like wreaths so this was just a piece that I could only cut in two so that's like you know what I'm talking about when I say there's different pieces in each bundle because I didn't have a six of these so that's an example of that and then I this past week I found a, a quilt top I've never found a whole like quilt top before I don't know if it was twin size or what but I cut a square out of it I did have enough since it was a whole quilt top top I did have enough to put a quilt top in each bundle so you'll get this pretty little quilt top here it's like this greenish and peachish i've got the sun shining in here so i hope that's not bothering you guys but it's morning <laughs> look at the morning sunshine okay so here's another piece that was a kind of a big uh tablecloth but around so it wasn't a big rectangle it was around that would not fit over a whole like dining room table or anything just you know part of it just to let you know but I cut it I think I cut this one in I think I got six pieces out of this but you'll have this white fabric that you can coffee dye or use as white I washed everything in my washing machine and I did not iron it like so you see like this might look a little wrinkled but that's because I washed it and I took it out and I didn't iron it if you want to iron it you can or you can cut it up or whatever but this piece had these pretty little decorations on it see if uh, it's kind of like I'm gonna hold it clo close so you can see <laughs> like it's white on white so it's a little hard to see but take my word for it there's some beautiful decorations there and then there's some like more trim like type crochet almost is it crochet I think it is kind of like crochet but it's kind of like Battenberg lace too but anyway you can see it's kind of in between uh, crochet and Battenberg lace there. But that goes all the way around here, this edge. And then more of this little decoration. So you can just cut that into pieces. But here's what I'm talking about when I say damage. And I cut it up. See, there's a little something there, a stain that I couldn't get out. And maybe you can get it out. I wash it with my uh, laundry detergent and my OxyClean. And it still didn't come out. So, you know, I figured it was good to cut up. Uh, this is just a piece of like muslin. This was off of something I cut up and I figured uh, instead of, I have muslin, I have plenty of muslin for myself, so I figured I'd put a piece in here. Why not? Just go ahead and share that. And then this was from, uh, this is from a pillowcase that uh, I damaged, not I damaged, but that was damaged. See, it has this little piece here and then it's it's got like a trim all the way up like stitching or whatever or some kind of decoration here all the way up and down this piece and it's got a scalloped edge there kind of like sewn on or embroidered type edge so that's just a pretty pretty piece of uh, edge from a from a table from a old pillowcase is what that was from 
So let's see, here is a piece. This, this was from another tablecloth and it had these squares on it. And my first thought was just to share the squares. These are so cool, right? You can use it as a hole. You can cut it into like that and use it as a flip up or a pocket, or you can cut these little squares out. See, there's four little squares on each one. And I cut everything the best I could, you know what I mean? As neat as I could. So, you know, it is what it is as far as the cutting. Like this one came out perfect, but if it didn't come out perfect, it's not because I didn't try, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it was attached, each square had this fabric in between, and I was gonna cut it off and just give you the square, and I thought, well, you know, I'll just go ahead and inclu include this. What else am I gonna do with that? this? And then um, you can cut this off just right here on the edge and do, you know, or leave it on, whatever you wanna do, so. But that's another piece in here. I didn't even count how many pieces were in here. I just kept adding and adding. Here's another little piece of trim that was on something else. I didn't have a lot of it, so that's why there's just like three in here. But isn't that pretty? Here is a piece of lace that is from something. <laughs> I don't even remember what this was from. I think from a tablecloth or something. But isn't it pretty? It's got, oh, I know what this is from. That's right. Yeah, it's from, it was from a small piece of fabric I had that had these flowers and I didn't have a lot. So I, that's why it's small like this. This is all I had. So I just went ahead and cut it up into six pieces, but it's got little flowers you can cut out or leave it as a hole there or cut it into you know a couple pieces for a pocket or whatever. Now this is from a tablecloth. This, I had a whole tablecloth. It had um, some staining and some a, a hole or two in it. So I believe that's why someone got rid of it. But isn't it beautiful? And you can cut this up into pieces. It's a good size piece. It's got little flowers on it and you know, the lacy look. So yeah, that's from a vintage table, one of those vintage lacy tablecloths. And then let's see what's next here. This is a placemat that I found this week. And it's pretty, it's kind of Christmassy looking, but it doesn't have to be Christmas. It's just red and green really. So it could be in any kind of vintage journal that maybe the colors matched. But here, this got the, this pretty corner here. It's got the red scallop, and it's got another pretty corner over here with the red and little berries. They have a white center with the red around, and then, and that is, uh, that's embroidered. See, that's embroidery, that's embroidery. So, uh, I believe it's, it's not, you know, handmade. I believe it's uh, commercially made, but still, it's it's an it's a old linen and it's very pretty. So and this was an old piece that I don't think I had a lot of this. So I don't think there's a piece in every bundle. Uh, but there is a piece in here, and you can see. I, I mean, you can probably see that this looks really old, right? But um, I'm trying to think if I cut this one up or if it's a whole piece. It doesn't really look like I cut this one up. Some of them I didn't cut up. If I had a piece that I didn't want to cut up. I just put the whole piece in here like this. This I didn't cut up. I can see right now that all the edges are here. So, you know, I put the whole piece in here and that's what I did with some of them. I tried to put a whole piece of something. If I had, I had six whole pieces, I tried to pull out and put a whole piece in that bundle. But you can see it's got some cut work here, but this is all like little embroidered kind of neutral, neutral on neutral again, uh, color there. So that is a very old, embroidered piece there and then I had think I had six of these is and these are just like cloth napkins but I just thought they were really pretty again with the um, I'm not gonna call it, it's kind of cottony I'm not sure ex if it has anything else besides cotton in this but it came out really nice in the washer <laughs> in the dryer it uh, didn't even hardly wrinkle and then it's got this pretty lace around the outside so I figured someone could cut that up and use it how they wish but that is my little fabric and trim bundle. I think I've done one fabric bundle before a long time ago, like quite a few years ago when I first started my YouTube channel. And uh, it was kind of a de-stash. And so I, this is a, a bit of a de-stash too, because like I said, I don't have any room in my in my drawer. <laughs> so, but uh, let me show you. I, I, I've been using these baskets here to organize everything as I'm dividing it up and they've really come in handy and made everything nice but I'll show you one more just to show you the differences maybe uh, so you can see that each one's not the same so when you get it I will pick it out what from what I have left 
and it might be a bit of a surprise because it, everyone is not the same. So like in this one, here's the little upholstery piece. It is not a bright color as you can see, but it's not neutralized. It's not like here's the other one that, you know, and here's this one. So that's just the difference in those two. So this one will go a little faster unless there's something different in here that I didn't describe in the first one. But this is the stitchery. And this one, you can see how pretty. So pretty. There's a fruit. A pear, it looks like. And some flowers. I just think those are so cool. Here's this sheer piece in this one. And the two there's two shoe piece pieces. This one was in the other one, too. But this is a different one. See, I didn't have any more of that one. So here's another sheer piece that I had with the yellow embroidery on it. This is that other little trim that I showed you. This is another piece from that piece I showed you that I cut up right there. Okay. And then here is that other half of that one. This one happened to get it, be the next one. So this one got that half of that one I cut in half. Here is the, which I already opened up and showed you, the quilt top. Here's this. Uh, this was cut from uh, something else so you can see there's the cut right there if it's jagged like that it's because I was cutting around whatever was on here like I didn't want to cut right through the middle straight through the middle of some flowers <laughs> so I cut around them to get the best uh, whole pieces on each fabric if you know what I mean so uh, like here's some flowers here on this one so just just so you know if it's jagged, that's why I was cutting around something. Okay, this is uh, this is the muslin that I just put a piece of muslin. This is the other trim from the pillowcase. This is uh, this piece with the square. That's in every one because I had enough for all six on that square, little square, two squares pieces. This is that trim where I only had a little bit, but there's the piece for this one, and then. I should have showed you one from the bottom of the pile because this one's almost the same as the one before it because I just went in a row like that and divided everything up. Oh, here's a whole piece in this one. See, this is the different. This is, uh, I think I only had one of these, so this is the, the whole piece that I put in here. See, isn't that pretty? There's nothing wrong with that. It's just, just a whole piece of a uh, little, whatever it is, doily or whatever. <laughs> And this is the napkin. I don't have to unfold that. I showed you the cloth napkin. Here's an extra piece of thread. But uh, that's that one. Okay, so let's um, let me just show you one more because that one's that one was very similar. I'm going to take one from the bottom of the pile. See, I've got them all <laughs> divided in my baskets here, and I'll get them ready to go in envelopes and stuff. But um, I, I kind of like, I was going to put them all in individual envelopes, and I thought, well, what if somebody orders more than one? Then I only put, then I'll put two in one envelope. You know what I mean? So I got them ready to go, but I don't have them in envelopes yet. But here's the piece. This is a quilted one. It's gray. Here's that stitchery. See, I tried to put a flowery one or some kind of really pretty one in each one. Uh, the pillowcase trim, the sheer in this one, the sheer piece. And again, it's wrinkled because I washed it and dried it. And if it didn't come out, I didn't iron it. I don't like to iron. So <laughs> you guys can iron it if you want to iron it. Uh, here's the trim. I did have enough, enough of this one, this particular one, to put in each one. Uh, this is that other big round thing that I cut up. See the pretty embroidery on that. I'm just trying to find the different pieces so you can get an idea of, you know, what the differences are. I'm not gonna full unfold that. That's the quilt top. This is, I think I did have enough on this one where that's the white on white piece. So I did have enough. And again, the jagged edges are from cutting around flowers uh, that were uh, all over the thing. And I didn't wanna, you know, cut right through the middle of a flower if I didn't have to. The muslin, the piece from the pillowcase, the squares, the two, you know, the squares. The, uh, of course, the tablecloth that had enough for each one. Now, this is a different one than this one. This was a whole piece. And see how I, what I'm talking about, how it's messed up. So this one, I didn't cut up, though, but it has a hole right here. 
it has a hole and it's kind of coming apart on the edge but isn't it oh I did cut this one in half this was a big dresser scarf see here's here's the middle and I cut it in half see how mess see it's messed up but perfect perfect beautiful not perfect but you know what I mean it's got a beautiful embroidery here see this beautiful embroidery here but it's got a hole right there so you know why someone got rid of it right but we can we can work with it. We can we can save it and make beautiful things from this, right? So and then here is oh this was a whole piece right here. This is like you know the door the uh, crochet that you put on the arm of a chair. Uh, that's what these that's what my mom told me these were for. Yeah, you put them on the arm of a chair or a couch and they're pretty and they also protect the arm of the couch or the chair, the upholstered, the upholstery on the chair or the couch. And this is the cloth napkin. So I think that gives you a pretty good idea of what I'm talking about when I say each bundle is not the same. And so when I send it to you, if you order one, if, you, if I send it to, when I send it to you, you know, it won't be, it will be um, what I, whatever I have left from whatever six bundles I have left. So thanks for watching today. Hope you enjoyed those, and I'll be making some more, hopefully. I'll, I ha probably have some more to uh, divide up. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, and happy crafting.